What's up guys, hello and welcome back to another Explore. So today we're in um, a snooker club, which is something new. I don't think I've done a snooker club at all actually. I've done things with pool tables I believe, but not an actual snooker club. Uh, we're here again with Shawnee Explores, who's behind me somewhere. There we are. <laughs> and uh, Lewis Merrin as well, who's over there behind the light. So uh, we've just walked in, this place looks pretty empty and pretty smashed, but there's some definitely interesting details uh, floating around the place. So let's go and see what we can find. I found the best detail ever. This is, this is unbelievable. I can't believe this is left. It's unbelievable. Pot it's noodle. a pot noodle. Beef and tomato. Yeah. That's the real headline. The rarest of the rare. You can't go in there because it's flooded. Is it flooded? Oh my God. That is proper bad as well. So yeah, there's water coming from somewhere. I'm assuming someone's poured a pipe out. Welcome to Rise Bingo. No under 18s are permitted to play bingo. I remember this guy used to be a member of a pool club. And this is for like racking up the balls. So uh, like you'd have like, um, well, because basically the way these pool clubs work, if you've never come to them, is you'd like come in, book a table for a certain amount of time, like a few hours, and they give you a set of balls. And the idea was that this was a way of them making sure you returned all the balls, because you had to fill every single hole with a set. Um, but yeah, and obviously like things like chalks and stuff as well, there's like spaces of chalks. I miss playing pool and snooker in that, but there's not really that many um, clubs left in Snapton because they will end up like this, unfortunately. So this is obviously where the pool tables would have been. And this, you can see exactly where they would have been because this is one of the, uh, the lights which would have been hanging above them. There's an old pool cue. Or snooker cue, probably, more likely. It's even got Riley's right on the bottom. That's cool. Be happy, go lucky. Lucky Strike Cigarettes. That looks well old. This place is proper smashed. But there are loads of little details. If you look closely. Oh my god, that's an immense cobweb. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a ridiculous cobweb. <laughs> it's actually the roof. It would have been like a hatch here at some point, but... Actually, leads straight through to like the corrugated metal. <laughs> There's not really much of a roof. Sort of insulated, sort of. So you'll have to excuse the uh, the shorts today. <laughs> it looks like uh, doesn't look that warm in here, but actually, I'll tell you what, it's been a very very hot day today, and we've been out literally all day. So the shorts and also the football shirt were definitely warranted because it's a lot cooler. So this is like the entrance spot that you would come in when you first came in. I'm guessing they would have had somebody here uh, as you came through the front doors, which are right behind me. And obviously then you could have like, booked your session and walked straight on through. Probably got some pool cues and all sorts of stuff. Oh wow, look at these. So like I was saying before, all those trays that had all the balls in them would have had a number on them. And uh, this is like basically where they would have kept them all. So they all had their place. And the idea was so they made sure they got all those sets of balls back every time. Here we go, got some safes. Oh, here's all the canisters. This is the uh, the office. Good indication as to why this place closed. It looks pretty run down. Looks like they haven't updated a lot in a long time. Whole load of switches, I don't know what they're for. 
possibly the lights on each of the tables. There's loads of them. Huh, I found a checkbook. What else Who wants to write a blank check? Oh, you got a checkbook? Oh, I want to write a blank oh, check. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I have to blur that. It's blank. <laughs> this stuff written. This, this is all full as well. Like, I'm going to show like at the corner of the amounts and stuff so you guys can't see too much, but this is all full. I was not expecting that. Awesome. Loads of checks written out. They're literally full. Uncashed, like, ungiven out. So is, do you reckon this is... um? What do you reckon it could be, like, wages? I don't know. Last wage? I don't know. I'm not going to show any more details of that, though, but that, you can see it's yeah. all, every single page is filled out. This is a staff handbook. It's all mid-hundreds of amounts. No, staff handbook. So you've got employment oh, wow. handbook. Terms and conditions of employment, but you've got all the like disciplinary oh, wow. policy and procedure, yeah. annual holidays, hours pay. It's a handbook. That's pretty cool. Go on, how much do you reckon they got paid? Pay methods weekly, monthly, wage deductions. Doesn't say the mm, amount. Doesn't say the amount. Oh. That's still pretty interesting though. I've got food handlers declaration, but I don't want to show any names or anything. Oh, you got that as well. There's so much stuff. Yeah. So the place is pretty trash, but there's so many like little details, which is really cool. Opportunities policy, just full on job description. Oh, look at this! <sighs> Your uh, the dart, um, what are they called? Flights. Yeah. It's stuck open. When I went in there, it oh shit! That, that was lucky. So that's why I wear safety shoes. Yeah, you walked on glass. Uh, that was yeah. It was upright though. Oh. It was upright. Yeah, so that's where we wear safety shoes. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a bit of glass that just I stepped on, but it was it was standing upright like that when I stepped on it. And these they don't, these don't look like safety shoes. They actually are still toe capped and they're like tough and um, boots to the bottom. So these are my my stylish ones. Vogue, Vogue. So I think we're gonna go and brave the water area if we can. Um, apparently there's a lot more through that way, so it's worth going through. Just hoping my shoes are gonna hold up to the uh, the water because I know that they're not the boots I usually wear, so water does get into them. So guys, we just come across this and there's a change machine. So I've never actually seen an abandoned one of these, so that's actually really cool. Yeah, that's that something a, a bit special. That is a first. Well, not a lot. Not a lot else in here. The only date I've found in here is 2015. I'm one of the guides. Okay, so this is where a lot of the water's coming from. It's coming from the, oh, Jesus Christ from the other side of this room, um, over through here. Uh, that's the toilet's bollocks here, but it's all leaking out here. It's not that deep, which is all right. My shoes are pretty okay. It's not up to the laces, so that's fine. God, yeah, there's another whole room. And you got more of these lights, which would have gone across the uh, snooker tables. Why is there a... There's a bowling ball. Why is there a bowling ball? I don't know. That's what I, I don't know why, but there is a bowling ball. So do you reckon there's a bowling alley? I don't know. These are random things I have here, and that's not even like because you can get like ten pin bowling alleys, which were there, the like small ten pin bowling, but yeah. that is like a proper sized bowling ball. It's not like a little bowling ball. Yeah. So the thing I, is, Riley's isn't actually a snooker club. It's yeah. Just a full on sports club, not sports bar place. I don't know. Our team, so they could have... I guess we just look and see if we can find one. Yeah. Imagine didn't come across the bowling alley. Oh, I'd be so happy. I'd be, I'd, I've never done bowling alley. That'd be amazing oh, as well. Lewis. Lewis. Look out for the ghost. Christmas past. Duh. Duh. Anyone for a bar of crusty chocolate? Crusty chocolate. Doesn't that just sound like the most appetizing thing ever? No. <laughs> I can have fused it with like toes. Oh, oh, well, like toenail clippings. Oh. Oh. That's what them things are, the little oh, half moon no. things, they're toenail oh, clippings. No. A discovery. Yes. That's far too bright. There we go. Look at that. And there's also a bingo thing. Oh, like yeah. Scores on it. Ah, oh, what a shame. Bingo score pad. This guy does look like there's been someone sleeping here at some point. Because, uh, as you can see, this is like a, a bed that's been made up. I think this is especially another bed as well. So I'll put cardboard down and stuff first. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sean. 
found pool tables. What? <laughs> what? We found pool tables. Yeah, what? Yeah. We did. They are pool tables. They're just in parts. They're like they're like make it you know make it yourself pool tables. Yeah. I thought you guys found a pool table. We have. Yeah, we have. We, have we found, found all that. We found loads of pool tables. We're we on about. Pool table parts. Come on. <laughs> So guys, if you don't believe me, honestly, these are, you can see from this, this is like a pool table, but they've taken the whole lot into parts. I literally, you've got like buffers there, the I'm guessing it's like a leg or something right there. These are like the slate that'll be underneath the felt. Uh, you know, there's, look at all this, you can see it, they're all in parts. I don't know why they've taken them all apart there, it's just ridiculous. Seems like a waste, especially since they're just sitting here doing nothing. You've got that, that age for when it's too far away. <laughs> I used to use that as a- the official name. I used to use that as a kid all the time. Being five foot night, uh, how tall am I? You're not five foot nine, are you? No, no chance. I'm five foot seven. Being five foot four, five foot six. I'm five foot six. <laughs> Being five foot six, I had to use these pretty much for every shot. But then when you used to use them, when you used to put them around behind your back, and you used to do the like behind your back shot. Like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never once thought I was doing a trick shot, and I was just like, this is legit the only way I can do this. <laughs> Touch me, hold me, buy me. Can you not talk to me like that on the first date, please? <laughs> I think I saw that slogan on a website, but it's not related to this. <laughs> I bet, I bet you did. <laughs> Found out what that's for. Oh really? They did a queue clearance sale. Because there's another one in here with a sign on it. Oh really? Yeah man. Oh okay. So they must clearance have, sale, prices slashed. They must have sold all the queues when they were closing down, maybe. Oh, okay. The lonely queue, waiting for its master to return. So what we're just saying guys is these um, holes here on the floor are where they would have put their legs and so in the other room I, there were some as well um, but these look like, like quite small ones so these probably would have been the pool tables and snooker tables which are much larger would probably be the larger ones in the other room. I'm assuming obviously I don't know definitely but I'm assuming. Look at all these egg boxes, what do you reckon the egg boxes are for? Well they probably did to breakfast maybe. Yeah but these look like, like egg boxes that you would have put your own eggs in. Maybe there's a takeaway raw breakfast. <laughs> I don't know why they're here, okay? I'm just rambling. Maybe they had their own chickens somewhere. That was a menu. What did they serve? The sports grill. Oh, it's wet. There we go. They did breakfast. They did do breakfast. No, sorry, there's no egg there though. <laughs> oh yeah. How weird. Why, why were the egg really boxes odd. then? There's loads of egg boxes, but they didn't serve eggs. They do sell chicken mayo burger, so maybe maybe they leave the chickens here that's it, just they, for the burgers. They kept the chickens, sold the eggs, and then when the chickens got too fat, they killed the chickens oh and put God. them in the burgers. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Oh shit. Guys, watch yourself in this corner. You're right. Yeah, there's fucking needles. Oh. Every time I find needles, they're bent like this, like they've been inserted with some force. Yeah, there's one here as well that's still got the stuff on it. I wish we found these at the beginning. You could have been so much more careful. See, this is why we wear safety shoes, people. Oh, I usually do. All of my viewers <laughs> moaned at me for not wearing them. Tut, 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 tut. And then, I, and then I started wearing them and then I got loads of praise. But... Oh my god. 
It's just too hot at the moment. Right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please go check out Shawnee Explorers and Lewis Merrin. Links will be in the description. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again next time. See ya. <laughs> I'm going back down. Yeah. I've had a fear of heights for a long time and it's like a chronic fear of heights. It's not just like, you know, step two steps up a ladder and you're like, oh my God, fuck it.